I went a couple days back in Sardinia, which is a little island here in Italy, and I want to see what type of fish I can find in this period of the year. Consider that this time I had only one week and almost no tools because I don't have my shop here. So if I can do it in this condition, I'm pretty sure you can take some inspiration and do it better. So I will consider this just like a prototype and later do it better. So this LED torch is a very powerful torch, it's a 200 watt LED. And the first components I took are two aluminum bottles. Cut them this way, marking a circular shape, and now smooth the cut using some sandpaper so that later it's much easier to glue some glass on top. I took some LED chips, a pair of LED chips, these are 100 watt LED, and they get very hot. So it's very important to use some aluminum as an heat sink, and I mark four holes so that later I can mount it easier. An LED driver, this is a 100 watt LED high efficiency driver, will be mounted inside two plastic containers. These are kitchen containers and they are perfectly because are watertight and no water can get inside. So now the problem is how to connect a copper cable to the side of the plastic without letting the water getting in. So the trick is to use a plastic cap as a container to put some glue inside. Do the same thing, make a hole, precise hole on the side of the pl plastic as well. Now I choose, to, I choose some polyurethane glue that seems like silicone but instead sticks very well to plastic and make it watertight. As you can see, let the glue dry and this is enough to keep the water away. Repeat this procedure with all the components of this project, so also with the, plast also with the aluminum container and so all the parts are watertight. Now it's just a matter of soldering the LED chip in place, so I use a soldering iron to do this, and now use some thermal paste behind the LED. This is very important to transfer the heat from the LED chip to the aluminum. I will use some stainless steel screw to, steel, to, screw, to, fit, to secure the, in place the LED chip. Now, the problem is that water can pass behind the head of the screws. So, uh, you, the trick here is to use some little coins and polyurethane glue to seal the gap behind the head of the screw. Repeat all this, com this procedure with all the screws. Now, it's just a matter of sealing the front of the aluminum bottle. I will choose some alarm clocks. I bought them in a local shop, are very cheap. And in front, I found two circular, circular shaped glass. These have almost the same dimension of the aluminum bottle, so now I can just press it on top and let the glue dry. I, I guarantee you, this is just this is enough to keep the water away. I found in the garbage this iron, this heating iron, and I removed the handle and I secured the handle on top of uh, some plexiglass. This will be the base where I can mount all the components. So the plastic container with inside the driver of the LEDs is mounted on top of the plexiglass, one on the right and one on the left. To focus the light beam of these LEDs, I choose these lenses that I took away from in front of a car so that we can have three types of light. We have a very focused, focused beam one very wide and one standard so that I can choose what type of light I can have underwater when I'm filming the fish. To activate the system I put a plastic cap here and a switch, a house switch, a very simple one and I will cover everything using a rubber balloon. This is enough to keep the water away but it's very comfortable to activate a single LED. So this activates the one on the left and the other one on the right. I can also secure a camera on top of this slide. A GoPro is perfect for this project. And now the problem is how to put, where to put the battery. And I want to have something very light underwater, very, very easy to move. So the best solution is to put an extension cord. This is also too long. I put it 10 meters long. Uh, probably is too much. Maybe a five meters long extension cord will be enough. So the end of this extension copper cable cord ends up to a car battery. Don't worry, a car battery isn't so dangerous. Even if I fall underwater, I can I can get electrocuted. So this is placed on top of my kayak, and I will bring it behind me 
and I'm filming all the fish. So secure the plug on top and let's go. <laughs> 